Hello my friends. I'm going to share with you the different grow towers that I use in my aquaponics system and the various ways that they can be used. The growing parameters of the different plants will determine what type of tower should be used. Small plants such as strawberries do very well in the net pot grow towers. Bush beans are another one that I favor growing in the net pots. I like to plant the seed directly into hydrogen or gravel as a rooting base. My basil has grown very well in the grow towers and as a short term plant it's fine but basil will li live longer than a year and keep producing which can cause uh, some problems with the cup holders as far as getting the plants out of the towers. Uh, they can grow quite extensive and massive. This meant I will remove and discard the roots and the woody stalks, but I'll cut the young shoots and root them in my deep water bed. Mint is another plant that will have extensive root growth and will give you problems removing the mint. These towers are not being used because I can't get the roots out. The roots were so massive that they completely blocked the water flow. A solution for root removal is slotting the towers instead of cutting net pot slots. I'm using 3 inch PVC drain pipe. The drain pipe comes in a 10 foot length and it costs about $5 a length. I'm cutting this in half at the 5 foot mark and that will give me a tower at a cost of about $2.50. You need to draw a reference line on this tube. The easy way to do it is to use a 2x4 as a guide. You'll need to make two of these lines about a half inch apart. Set your table saw blade to be about a quarter inch above the top of the table surface. The reference lines that you drew on the tube is going to be used as a guide on the top edge of the fence. Stand in a position that you can easily see your reference line along the fence as you're feeding through the saw. For safety while cutting, it's very important to keep that saw blade very low to the table. If you want, you could use a single cut down the length of the tube and then cut a short length of 3 inch tubing to be used as a spacer at the top and the bottom of the tube. This will hold the slot open for your plants. My preference is just to make two cuts and leave the half inch gap between the two. Okay, now let's look and see how we use the towers. We're going to do some plant transferring. Here you can see a basil plant that is pretty tight into a net pot holder. And this plant was grown with the foam collar from one of the noodles that we used. And you can see that it did its job. It held the plant very well. I'll prune this plant and transfer it to one of the new towers. I'll be inserting the roots into the top of the tower and the crown of the plant will be at the slot in the tube. Now when you slide the plant in don't have your finger inside the tube in, or the slot because the edges are extremely sharp. Use a stick or a pencil or some item that you can use to pull the plant through 
or down the slot. As each plant is placed into the tube, follow it with a foam spacer. This spacer is controlling the spacing between the plants. It's also containing the water and blocking sunlight. These are <clears throat> paddle boards that I got from the Dollar Tree. And of course they're a dollar a piece. Um, they're for swimming. But you see they're arched top and bottom. That won't make any difference. And also made in USA, so that's nice. Well, what we're going to do is cut this up. And one of these is enough for two to three grow towers. So uh, the grow tower itself, the three inch tube, will cost about $2.50 because we're cutting them to five foot. And then we want to cut these about this width or even a little narrower. <clears throat> and uh, so 250 for the tower and this making about two to three towers, let's just say 50 cents. So for three dollars you could have a grow tower. And you see the arch, that doesn't matter either. Then take the stack, since it was curved, even them up and hit about the middle. Right there is eight pieces. And do the same here. There's ten. So there's eighteen we got out of this one. And we're using about eight plants in a tower, so that would leave us, we need about nine, so that's perfect for two towers. Okay, now the ends, what you want to do is make a slice in there, about an inch, inch and a quarter down, and that will allow you to hold the plant or the seedling, and then We'll slide the second one down on top and it'll close and make a completely closed uh, seam in the tower. And we just make a quick slice in every one of these. Sharp knife goes pretty quick. Just uh, don't cut yourself when you're doing this. This is a little quicker for cutting the seedling slots. Here's how we're going to use the seedling slots. Um, I'm using basil cuttings that I rooted in my deep water culture, my raft bed. And you put the collar of the plant, or the crown of the plant, uh, right to where it's exposed to the front surface, and then just pinch it in there and slide it down the slot. Now don't use your finger like I'm doing here. Use some type of a tool, a pen or a stick, something. Uh, you will cut yourself on these edges, as I have done. The first plant slides all the way down to the very bottom. That uh, foam gives you the spacer, it gives you the space for the root growth uh, to the bottom of that tower. I 
I'm setting the foam so that there's only about a half inch to a quarter inch exposed to the outside edge of the tube. Each foam spacer is slid all the way down until it's touching the top of the preceding plant and so that there is basically no air gap in between each one of the plants. The basal cuttings that I'm using have only been in to the raft bed for about a week and there is enough root growth on some of these that they could be transferred. Other ones I'm putting back into the raft bed for maybe another week and get more root growth out of them. Notice when I insert the seedling that I'm putting it in at a pretty good angle so that the roots are pointing downward and the plant is pointing upward. Here you can see as the plant goes in how the spacer slides down and butts into the preceding plant. At the very top I insert a spacer just to block the light and contain the water. Notice no plant in the top. After the tower is planted, it's found its new home. You can see I'm holding these with the split. And if it's too loose, if you need more support, these are gripping real tight. Let's see here here and that is light and water barrier for in the t t tubes there. And here are a couple two inch net pot towers that I'm using foam pool noodles to act as uh, plant supports and some of these I'm using grow medium to help with the root growth and structure. You can customize pieces of foam to use as uh, supports for these plants. Here I have a couple different pieces of foam, a section of a swimming noodle. Um, I take a half a circle and then split down the middle and this will give you slots to hold the plant. Uh, you can vary the width of this to make more pressure uh, when it's inserted in the slot to make a better grip. Here you can see I have it inserted into one of the slots. And here's another one, different type. And then insert uh, spacers in between uh, to block out lighting. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.